Hi, my name is Steve Eaton. I have a web cartoon called Universal Opera that's going to come out here in a few months. I just thought you might be interested to join in the drawing process uh, and to see what I do. To begin with, we're going to try a character called the Patriarch. The Patriarch is an interesting character, a heavily inbred, uh, long-standing king of his world, um, known as Geisen. So here I'm going to be just roughing in some of the uh, architecture of the shape. I wanted him to have kind of a sunken in chest and he's got the typical opera sized head to begin with. I wanted him to have a really ill defined uh, musculature buried underneath pads of fat. Very specifically pads. Not sort of just a friendly layer like some of us have. Wanted him to have sort of a hanging gut. Um, Patriarch does not walk very well. It's going to define this walker, sort of akin to a, a child's walker. Looking at this, I think I was uh, thinking he had way too much of a, a sort of orcish or a goblinish look, so I'm going to end up getting rid of that chin because too much definition for this guy. So I'm just going to really deck this guy out with zero chin, sort of just moves right into the chest, the chin chest. And just, I think to begin with, I wanted it to make it look like uh, the patriarch was a guy who had a very small man's uh, skeleton under a whole lot of man, and who hadn't moved much at all in the last, you know, hundred years. So here I'm going to just define some of the pads. I want him to have one a big, thick neck pad. Um, no chin to speak of at all. Just defining the eyes a little bit. They were a little baby-like, so I'm just going to move those. A little more tired. Now the, the hand here I thought had too much definition to it, so I'm, gonna, uh, I'm a nurse, so I've seen a lot of arms with heavy edema, so that kind of pad where it sort of hangs over the wrist, I uh, just kind of accentuated that a little bit. Um, wanted him to have a lot of lesions, so we're going to bust out some big lesions here. A lot of wrinkles. Man does not hit the gym much. Can't throw any stones. So he's going to be wearing something akin to a hospital gown because really he spends most of his time in the virtual realm and just kind of popping in some hairs here like he hasn't seen daylight. Um, taking my 4H uh, pencil holder here, it's a big wide sucker. Um, you can really get some basic shadows sort of slapped around, give you a rough idea, give you some mid-tones, um, kind of know where I'm going to be going. lesions I really wanted to be strong like as if his skin hadn't been taken care of chunks of it are probably taken away while he was sleeping or enjoying himself um, it's a heavily computerized planet so he didn't spend much real time out there just giving a real basic shape to this walker a little bit um, they actually do have these I work in an assisted living and they do have them and most of the people who use them they really have to try very hard on them so I'm not bad mouthing anybody who is disabled they're very difficult this guy is a horrible horrible being so I can make fun of him all I want um, but at this point just defining some of the hospital gown then I decided that I didn't really like the hospital gown simplicity um, you see that in a bit Defining some of the lesions, just defining a few of the few little shadows. And I remember an uh, art teacher I had way back when um, said if you really wanted to cheat, um, you draw the texture of a thing. You don't just draw shadows or basic shapes. And of course, I've had other uh, art teachers who said the exact opposite, but um, I did take that one to, to heart. So I'm throwing in some of the textures here. You'll see me go nuts with this in a little while, though. Um, really defining that, throwing in more hairs and a few more bad skin moments. Yeah, not a Maybelline guy. So I liked the idea of a, um, so he's kind of a, an overgrown child, 
not that there's anything wrong with him, but, um, you know, he's just, he's just a horrible being, um, heavily inbred. Um, so I decided to put this papal hat on him, but like, as if it was done like a kid's birthday party with a simple string, like he kind of gave a crap. Um, so I'm just defining that string a little bit here, defining the papal hat, which I kind of like as a concept. It was free, free, free. It's a little Mobius like, but, um, and then the back, once again, with the child metaphor, kind of like a boy scouts, boy scout scarf, just kind of hanging out the back, making him think it's important. And I decided to give him kind of eyes here that looked a little blind. Just took away the definition of them. He barely uses them, barely ever goes outside. Defining a bit more of that. So once again, a little more of that texture, the shadows. More lesions, always more lesions, this guy. Finding the shapes here. Pulling around the edema to arm, giving it a little bit more love. Um, and I decided I, I'm not great with with clothing, so I thought I'd just kind of define the shape of the clothing here a little bit more, so it's just looking like an old bag of laundry. Okay, now here's where I was talking about with the texture a little bit. A few more lesions before we get there. So, just defining back the clothes a bit more. And I kind of like to, if I'm going to use this big pad of a pencil, um, I try to define it with something a little sharper later, just to give it a bit more shape. So this is a uh, 4B 2mm um, pencil holder. Just kind of slapping around some more of the basic shapes here. And I like moving it around. It's just it's very kind to you. It's a good feeling uh, pencil. So here's a little more texture, really basic. And, I decided I didn't really like the hair, just sort of the straggled hair, so I thought I'd give it a bit, bit more vanity to him. So darkened in the hair, and it's obviously dyed. Sort of these weird streaming down sideburns. More lesions. Once again, just defining in those shadow areas a little bit gives the impression that there's actually texture and beef and skin. So I decided also to make it to look like where he's, whatever these robes are, they obviously aren't incredibly well tailored. Uh, I gave him a diaper because, you know, if he ain't moving around, he's going to be in a... Uh, going to be in a walker. He's definitely going to be in a diaper. So I'm going to define that diaper a little bit. Just enough to give the impression I'll probably end up doing a separate piece for the for the walker. So now I'm just using a blender, kind of getting rid of the curse of some of these lines. So once again, confusing the eye a lot of the time or giving shadows. Now I'm going to get back into the face here a little more. And I'm going to go a little nuts with it because I really want to give the feeling like he's just somebody falling apart. Um, a few straggly hairs. An unloved deity power under man. Really can do whatever he wants. So this is the Patriarch. The Patriarch uh, is in Universal Opera. Thank you for spending your time with me. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to see more universal goodness in the future, first episode comes out in Christmas. And have a great day. Bye bye